everyone, it's Emmy Hall with TFL Car. I'm out here on the Switzerland Trail just outside of Boulder, Colorado, and check it out. I've got the 2014 Volkswagen Touareg Hybrid. Now, I've done a lot of off-roading in my time, but I gotta say, I've never done it in a hybrid. So, we're gonna see how she do coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. It's Emmy Hall at TFL Car, and check out what I got behind me. It's 2015 GTI. Now, I, you know, I'm gonna love this car. I know that you guys are gonna love this car. And uh, let's say that I review this car, you guys watch it, we get 10,000 views on it. 10,000 people have sat through that ad. Do you know how much money TFL Car actually makes from 10,000 views? Just guess, I'll, I'll give you a second, just guess. Did you guess yet? Because it's $10. $10 on 10,000 views. I know it's crazy, but $10 is not enough to keep me in new lipstick colors. That's why we're asking for your support. Click on that link below right there and you can help us out. You can become a part of TFL Car. Now, whether or not you can support us with $2 a month, whether or not you can support us with $5 a month, $10 a month, $1,000 a month. Oh, please, big whale, big whale. We're really just asking for your support. We're not requiring it. We still wanna make sure that we give you the best that we possibly can, but frankly, we just need your help to be able to survive. So click on that link and help us out, become a part of TFL Car. Thanks so much, y'all. We love our fans. I love you. Make sure you check us out on all the social medias. We love chatting with you. Thanks so much. Besides a whole bunch of plastic, Volkswagen has given us a three liter supercharged V6, which is good for 380 horsepower and 428 Yahoo pound feet of torque. Now power is going through all four wheels via an eight speed automatic transmission. And your EPA fuel ratings are 20 in the city, 24 out on the highway and 21 combined. All right, so first thing I wanna say is that it is obvious that we're not gonna do any kind of crazy off-roading in this car. First of all, there's, <laughs> First of all, we're by ourselves. So number one, you don't want to be off-roading in some crazy place by yourself. It's just not safe. Second of all, we're on street tires. That's a really bad idea. Third of all, there's no spare in this car. So that's a really, really bad idea. Fourth of all, there's no skid plate on this truck, on this car. I mean, there's a decent amount of clearance, but all in all, this off-roading in this car should be kept for, you know, going up the graded mountain road to your cabin, that kind of stuff. Please, please, please do not think that this is like an ultra four rock crawler because it's not. There's no low gearing. There's none of that stuff. Okay. Okay. Yay. Let's go now. So the styling on this Touareg, I mean, it's not the best in the world, but it's not really the worst either. I mean, I think it's gonna satisfy people, but it's not necessarily anything to get, you know, super excited about. I do like the LED running lights in the front, and I do like that it's got roof racks, but having this extreme panoramic sunroof, holla, means that maybe you don't wanna put a lot of stuff up on the top on all of that glass. Now, one thing, we are gonna take this car off road, and I'm not so sure about these tires. I'm running on just Michelin, uh, what are they? Latitude Tours and uh, 2065 50s on 19 inch wheels. These are street tires, y'all. And you can see we've just been up the trail here and already my tread is just full of sand and little tiny rocks. So um, yeah, that might be interesting. We'll see what happens. Now also in case you forget you're driving a hybrid, this car is badged no less than seven times as a hybrid. It's on the front, it's on the side, it's inside, it's in the back. Yeah, everyone will know you got a hybrid. Now, one thing that's pretty cool about this hybrid is that I don't really notice when the car is changing from electronic uh, power to gas power. Now, I am in the off-road mode, which will turn off a couple of different, um, <clears throat> we'll turn off my ESC, turns off my, a little sketchy right here. There you go. <laughs> Turns off my ESC. We'll turn off a couple of different um, nannies that you don't necessarily want when you're off-roading. So that's pretty awesome. So on the in 
interior, I mean, everything looks okay. It just doesn't look great. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've got a lot of soft touch materials here, which is awesome. I've got leather seats and they're heated both front and rear. The steering wheel is also heatable, which to be honest with you, I'm not really sure what that means. I can't find a button anywhere that actually heats the steering wheel, but it is heatable. Do I put it in the fire? I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, but there's just nothing special about it. And this car has got a pretty expensive price tag. So I kind of wanted something that would stand out here in the dash. I mean, the wood inlay is nice. The silver accents are nice, but all in all, it's just kind of plain Jane. Now, one thing that you might want, this might affect your decision, is that there is no actual USB port. Instead, you get a variety of cables. Yay. So you get a cable for your old iPhone. You get a cable for your new iPhone. You get a cable for your auxiliary, but you don't get an actual USB port. So that kind of sucks. Now, while I'm in off-road mode, the car does have a couple of little fancy tricks. It's got an electronic diff lock and it's also got a hill descent control, but both of those things are, are, are activated automatically when the car thinks that you need them. So that kind of sucks, right? Because I want to be in control of it at all times. Hey, spotter, that's probably not a good line. Nope. All right. Tommy is telling me to go the other way, so we'll go the other way. Okay, Tommy's telling me to go straight. There we go, there is a huge rock right over there. So we wanna make sure that we don't screw the bottom of this little girl. So, like I said, there are some neat tricks up its sleeve, but it's all automatic. You're not actually in control of it. And if there's one thing that just drives me insane, it's not being completely and totally in control of the car at all times. Now in the back here, I've got plenty of room for three full-size adults. I mean, the driver's side here is set for my position, my driving position, and I'm 5'9", and I've got plenty of room. Now I also have my own personal cup holder. I'm just mad for cup holders. And the cool thing is that right here in the center, you have a traditional outlet as well as a 12-volt outlet. So you've got some juice here to power your toys on long. What? and apparently Tommy, my cameraman, uh, I guess there's a button back there that you can push. Wow! And these guys come down automatically. So uh, that's pretty fascinating. Thanks, Tommy. automatic transmission but it is a shiftable automatic so I've switched it over I'm a little uh my tires are spinning just a little bit here so I'm gonna see if I can put it in first gear and see if that'll help me a little bit now keep in mind this isn't a low geared car <laughs> so let's see come on girl there she goes there she goes and remember you want to go as fast as you have to but as slow as possible come on girl Come on. I do have this surround camera so I can look and see how close I am to objects to make sure that I'm not gonna hit any rocks or anything, which is pretty cool. And come on, girl. Come on, steady throttle, steady throttle, steady throttle. Get a little traction, move the wheels back and forth. Come on, girl, come on, come on. There we go. Now in the back of the Touareg, this is where my whole hybrid stuff is. So consequently, I don't get a spare, but I still have plenty of room back here and it's enough for a trademark laundry basket rating. Looks like it's gonna be four. Let's see, will she close? Come on, give me four, give me four, give me four. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Good, good there? Yep, you're good. I'm not gonna go right over that big old thing? No, you're good. Okay. <laughs> oh, shut up! Tommy thinks he's funny. 
Now, I do have this automatic hill descent control and it kicks in when I'm going under 18 miles an hour and when the incline is more than 10%. So it's kicked in right here, but to be honest with you, it's been kicking in a lot <laughs> and it seemed it's been doing it on things that were much less steep and it just released than, 10, than a 10% grade. Now, one of the things that I really like too, like I said, I have this um, parking camera. Oh my God, which I really like. But when you get close to stuff, okay, it is hill descending. Ah, I don't like, it's a little frightening doing the hill descent control because again, you're not in control of the car and you have to trust it. But that's really what you always want to do, right? Is you want to trust your car, trust your vehicle. Now you guys probably heard that tiny little beep. Because I have the camera on, which I like to have, it's got a top view camera so I can see everything that's happening and see if I can hit any rocks. But when I get close, then it beeps, <laughs> which I guess is what I want it to do, right? <laughs> standard graded dirt road that's got a little bit of ruts from some rain that's happened and you know it's really soaking up the suspension is soaking up these bumps pretty good I mean I'm kicking along at about 25 miles an hour I feel very comfortable I feel like this car is uh, planted and I don't feel like it's gonna lose traction on some of this gravel and uh, so this is the kind of off-roading that I think most people are gonna do in this car is you know going up to the campground you might get a little bit of dirt a little bit of mud but nothing too bad and in that case this is doing pretty good. So the 2014 Volkswagen Touareg Hybrid actually surprised me off-road. I mean, it didn't do great, but it got me there and it got me back in one piece, even with these all-wheel, even with these um, uh, street tires. So, you know, bonus. I was very surprised with that. But the MSRP on this car, it's a little pricey. I mean, this is the base model, y'all, and it comes in at $65,655. I mean, that's ridiculous, especially when you look at the Lexus RX hybrid, which you can get for thousands less, and you get a cushier ride, a little bit of a better, in, and a little bit of a better interior. But, you know, I think that its competition comes most squarely from Volkswagen itself in the form of the uh, Touareg TDI, which gives you much better gas mileage, 29 miles per gallon out on the highway. So on the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, I've got to give the 2014 Volkswagen Touareg hybrid a lease it. I mean, it'll get you there, and it looks okay, and it performs okay off-road, but there's just something else. I think there's better value out there. That's it for today. I'm Emmy Hall. Thank you so much for watching. Round of applause. Yay! Hey, you can find me and TFL Car on all the social medias. And be sure to tune into tflcar.com for more real world reviews. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Bye. So, you know, what's funny is that normally when I'm off-roading in Colorado, I am in a Volkswagen, except that I'm in an air-cooled Baja bug with, uh, you know, dual Webers and uh, big old Yokohama super diggers on the back. So this is kind of a whole new experience for me. Now I will say on this car, you know, with the hybrid, you do have a regenerative, regenerative braking system. And a lot of times that means that the brakes are kind of grabby and uh, kind of annoying and they just have a real strange feel to them. But this car brakes much more like a regular gasoline powered car. It's very, very smooth. It's very linear. And I don't feel like it's going to uh, throw me through the windshield. Like it has, like my experience has been in some other hybrids.